Hey everyone, here's a question from decimals of class 6, exercise 8.3 and this is based on the new syllabus. So we have a lot of questions here based on the addition of decimals. So first question is this. I hope you all know how to add decimals. You have learned this in your lawyer classes, 4th and 5th class. If you doesn't know, it's okay. So I'm going to explain you. So when you're adding decimals, we have a decimal points, right? So we have to first line up the decimal. So here the first number is 0 0.3. 007. So the second number is 8.5. So I'm going to line up with it. So decimal point is here. 8 will come here and 5 will come here. And the other spaces which are blank, you can just put 0. Or you can even just leave blank or you can just put 0 there. The next number is 30.08. So line up with decimal. Decimal point will come here. So 30 is on the left side of the decimal, right? So it's 0 and 3. On the right side, it is 0 and 8. And the, the space which are empty, just put 0 there add them up so you will get 7 here then 8 and then 5 the decimal point then 8 and 3 so 38.587 second question same thing now 15 is a whole number it will come on the whole part of decimal it will be like 15.0 okay the next one is 0 0.632 so line up with the decimal to so 0.632 the next one is 13.8 so decimal point here then 13 on the left side and 8 here the empty places you can just put 0 or you can even leave it now add it so 2 and here we will get 3 6 plus 8 is 14 so 4 will come here 1 will go carry here the decimal point and just normal add 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 1 that carries 9 and 1 plus 1 is 2. So 29.432 is the answer. Then the next question. Same thing you should do, just line up with the decimal point and then you add it up. Now we have 27.076. The sixth num next number is 0 0.55, so line up with the decimal, so 0 will come here and 5 and 5 will here put 0 here the next we have 0 0.004 so decimal point here 0 here and 0 0 for this side now add it up now when you add this it will be like 6 plus 4 is 10 so 0 and 1 will be carry 7 plus 5 is 12 12 plus 1 carries 13 5 plus 1 is 6 the decimal point then 7 and then 2 so 27.630 then the next question So it is 25.65. The next number is 9.005. So line up with the decimal. 9 will come on the left side and 0, 0, 005 on the right side. The next number is 3.7. Decimal point here, 3 here and 7 here. So all the places which are empty, you can put 0. You can just leave it. So I'm placing 0 here. Here also you can put 0. Others just leave it. Now add it. So 5. And then here also 5. 6 plus 7 is 13. So 1 will be carry here. Put decimal point. Now add this. So 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. Plus 1 is carry 18. So 18 and 1 will be carry again. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So we'll get 38.355. Then the next question. We have 0 0.75, then the next number is 10. Line up with decimal. So 10 will be on the left side, so 0 and 1. On the right side, we have 4, 2, 5. You can put 0 here. Next one, we have a 2. 2 is a whole number. It's going to come on the left side of the z decimal point. Then point here, and you can just put zeros here. Now just add it up. You can place zeros if you want. Now, so 5 will come here. 5 plus 2 is 7, 4 plus 7 is 11, so 1 will be carry, put decimal point, 2 plus 1 is 3 and 1, so 13.175. Now last question, so we have 280.69, next we have 25.2, put la line up with the decimal, 25 on the left side and 2 on the right side. You can just place zeros. 
and the next 38 38 is a whole number so write it on the left side of the decimal and you can put the decimals uh, and then you can put the zeros now add it so 9 6 plus 2 is 8 put decimal 8 plus 5 is 13 1 will be carry 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 3 is 13 plus 1 is 14 the 2 plus 1 is 3 so 343.89 is the next one so that's it this is how we're going to add the decimal in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching